Brian from Vortec here. We're hanging out with the guys from Lethal Performance, uh, giving them a tour of the facility, showing them what makes Vortec the most efficient compressor on the market. So this is Precision Assembly, uh, and then this is also where they um, build new blowers and then also tear down, evaluate, and, uh, and then redo rebuilds there as well. There's a clean room back there where they uh, would actually do all the um, gear case assembly and all that. So these are uh, balancing machines. Right. Um, they, they actually balance impellers on there, and that's pretty cool. So every single impeller that comes through here is individually balanced. We put them on there and put them up to speed and make sure that uh, you know they're, they're balanced to spec. This is our uh, in-house machine shop. So there's a, a Makino A77 multi-pallet system. Uh, it has live tooling, a loading robot, uh, you name it. So uh, we load the parts on the fixture. You can basically go from a, a casting uh, and load it up on the fixtures and the programming's already in the computer. And like I said, it has the, the live tooling. So it can just go from, from fixture to fixture, uh, take the part, machine it, uh, do everything that needs to be done and then it'll just go on to the next pallet, the next fixture, and just keep going. Uh, when we're really busy, it can go 24 hours a day. And uh, so, you know, once, it, once it's finished with one, it'll just move on to the next, and you just keep loading and unloading and keep going. So um, that A77 uh, has the whole line uh, on it, and then we have another A77 in the back that's just a single. Um, and then all the mills and lays and everything, they're all in here. It allows us a lot of ability to do things uh, on our own and you know just bring things to market without having to rely on you know outside yeah. and, and like I said you know we can go 24 hours a day if we need to all the gear cases are they're matched the gear case and the cover they're all matched pieces so once they come out of the machine they'll get matched together and then once they're a set they have paperwork and they they always will stay together so that's why when people call up and ask, um, you know, why can't you just send me one part to this unit? Why can't you do, you know, why does it have to come to you? And it's because everything is very to tolerance. Everything is very specific. So, you know, we, we can't just separate a gear case cover from the gear case. You can't just change that. It has to be matched so that everything is precise. So yeah, these, these things will travel through the entire process together. Uh, if they go to powder coat, they go to powder coat together. Uh, when they come back, when they get, they'll go back through QC together, when they get assembled, and then they go out. So, I mean, once they're matched, they're, it's, you know, they're a happy couple forever. So, but like this is, like I said, this is all, these are all oh, matched are all, uh, yeah. match sets. So, and they've all been measured and matched and they're ready to go. So they all have their paperwork, they travel with them. So that's actually cutting a billet impeller right now. That's definitely one of the one of the coolest things to see. They start out as a blank that looks like this. Okay. Well, this is a smaller one than that, but it starts out as a blank and becomes a fully machine billet impeller, ready to make lots of boost. You know, everything, everything goes in waves, uh, especially in the automotive industry. So, you know, when we started out in 1990 um, with the V1 gear set, over time, you know, people 
wanted a quieter operating unit, and that was like, we, we have the V2, and that became right. the standard forever. Then we, we started making self-lubricated blowers, the V3s, and those were also quiet. Um, but just in the last year, two years, people have said um, very much the demand for the loud oh, blowers yeah. have, have increased. We went back to the drawing board. We, you know, we went back to the original sound because everybody said, oh, I want that original sound. I want that. Don't you make those gears anymore? So we literally started making them again. <laughs> so it's literally the same V1 uh, really? you know, gear profile from, from 1990. Okay. And the guy that remembers it, you know, in his, in his old Fox body that he built, you know, it'll be that same thing again. So we're, we're pretty excited about it and they sound great. And, and, and that way we can uh, and, and, uh, fit everybody's needs. And uh, these, the Heritage series is also self-lubricated too. Whereas, you know, the, the loud blowers are all engine oil fed. Up until this point with the Heritage, you can actually get that gear set with a self-contained uh, supercharger. Neat. You know, these kits uh, comes with the V3JT, uh, it's seven and a half pounds of boost, makes 692 horsepower at the crank. Um, well, the Vortec has a honeycomb pattern on the gear case and the Paxton has a line pattern on the gear case and <laughs> one says Vortec and one says Paxton. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's gotten even more narrow than it used to be. I mean, the, uh, the Vortec kits used to come with blue sleeve, coupling sleeves, and the Paxton's would come with black. Now they all come with black. Um, but I mean, obviously, you know, there's still, you know, a little bit of difference in appearance, obviously, with the blue on the Vortec, and Paxton would be black, and then with the, you know, orange and yellow and red. With we have a whole industrial division. Um, our industrial division is very big and uh, we do all kinds of fun stuff with that. Airplane wing de-icers, bulk conveyance, uh, water aeration, um, air knives, um, all of the like Gatorade factories where they, they wash the bottles and then they have to dry them off. They use our blowers to actually power the, the, air, you know, the air jets to actually power dry them. There's actually um, down in, in Mexico, There's a, I want to say it's, is it crawfish? I want to say. There's a, a, a plant where they have like all of these ponds with uh, like, a, like a breeding place and they were having trouble with, because they had the, the water aeration that they had was on the surface and they like to stay at the bottom. So like they were, they weren't growing and they were, they, they were actually, their yield was, was subpar. So we got in, you know, they got in touch with us and then they, you know, we went and set up a, a whole redesign where we're actually uh, aerating the water um, down from the bottom with, you know, with one of our industrial Vortron units. And not only did it uh, boost the yield by, by a lot, but you can actually see the, they're all gathering right around where the, the water comes in at the bottom at the, the aeration point. So they, they made them very happy. But and that's just one of the things that, you know, that we do um, among so many others. The, the applications, like I said, like things you wouldn't even think of, like, like airplane wing de-icing, and bulk conveyance where they move grain. They just do it by forced air. Yeah, the, the so. fire engines have a centrifugal type pump inside to move yeah. the water around in the system. Yeah, exactly. It's in the process. Yes, so yeah, we not only can make things go fast, but you can use it for all kinds of useful things. <laughs>